Why play Lilia top? Well, she brings a ton of damage even at level 1. She is a hard counter against tanks top lane. She is incredibly fast with high mobility, and she has the ability to CC entire teams. However, she doesn't have any hard CC until level 6, and she can get bullied by some of the more aggressive top laners. Lilia's passive makes her abilities apply Dream Dust when hit. This Dream Dust makes the target take a good amount of maximum health damage over 3 seconds, as well as healing Lilia a decent amount. This is what allows her to shred through tanks. Lilia's Q has a passive, but when she hits an ability, she gains movement speed for six and a half seconds. This passive can be stacked up to four times for some pretty insane movement speed. The active makes her whirl her weapon around her dealing magic damage. If the enemies are hit on the outer half they take double damage, and the second half is true damage. It's quite easy to hit enemies on the outer edge of this for an insane amount of constant damage. Lilia's W winds up an attack and it deals damage in a circle. Enemies in the middle of this attack take triple the damage. Lilia's E is a global ability where she rolls a ball in a direction. This stops on the first unit hit or if it hits terrain. If it hits a unit it deals damage, reveals them and slows them. Lilia's ultimate can only be used when an enemy champion has been hit with an ability to apply Dream Dust. When used, it causes all enemies with Dream Dust to become drowsy before falling asleep. This can affect multiple enemy champions at one time. They will remain asleep for a small amount of time or until they take damage. When they're awakened by damage, they will take a large amount of additional damage. Lilia's basic combo is very straightforward, landing the E into Q then W before auto attacking afterwards. She can perform this combo incredibly fast. And if you're going for the all in, you can sleep them after this combo and then wake them up with the Q for even more damage. For for masteries take this, Lilia is able to proc Conqueror incredibly fast. For build order start Ring and Pots before getting tier 2 boots, Leandries and Demonic. Follow this up with a Zonyas and a Crystal Scepter. And then finish your build with any of these. For skill order start Q then E then W before maxing Q then W then E taking ult whenever you can. For summoners take Flash and Teleport. Ignite is always a good option too. Starting the laning phase your main objective will be to farm up to your Leandries power spike while constantly harassing. However, how you go about this will change drastically depending on who you're up against. Ideally you've picked Lilia because you're up against a tank. There's not many tanks that can contest you well and you will win extended fights with ease. Therefore, keep looking to hit them with your Q as often as possible, relying on the healing and damage from your passive to make these trades very easy for you. After you've landed a few Qs, you can look to land your all-in combo for insane damage. However, if you're against a bruiser like a Garen or Darius, your main goal will be to use your extended range to harass safely and avoid being all in Keep spamming your Q from safety when they go to farm and simply wait until you've put them down enough for you to have the advantage. Entering the mid game, you're looking to split push quickly, being able to 1v1 most enemy champions at this point, especially if you're able to harass and kite beforehand. Your teleport allows this, allowing you to quickly get into any team fight while split pushing. Make sure you're at all objectives and split push on the side of the objective your team's going for if needed. Lilia's abilities being AoE makes her a great skirmisher around these smaller objectives, so take advantage of this as much as you can. Lilia plays a unique role in late game team fights. Your main objective is to land AoE abilities and then sleep as many of them as possible. This can be used as the main engage, but it's even better as follow up engage. After putting many people to sleep, just keep spamming your abilities AoE style on as many people as possible.